In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Father. We gather today to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise Pray you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice, and the peoples with his constancy. Today is born our sin. A reading of the book from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior. Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord in those days a decree a decree went out from caesar augustus that the whole world should be enrolled this was the first enrollment when quirinius was a governor of syria so all went to be enrolled each to his own town and joseph too went up from galilee from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary his betrothed who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas, everyone. Don't you just love Christmas? It's such a joyful day and such a joyful time of the year. And it really is a day about who we are as human beings. Because it's a day about God becoming human. God loved us so much that God became one of us to show us how to best live our lives. And that formula of the best life has really only one thing, and that is love. Love is at the center of who we are because we are created in God's image and God is love. To show our gratitude for so great a gift, all God asks is that we love one another. And that means everyone, even the unlovable, are lovable in God's eyes. So they must be lovable in our eyes. Celebrate this feast with people you love and let all of our love transform this world into what it was intended to be, a place of love and peace and justice. And now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in God's love for us, we now present our needs. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the body of Christ in the world, may God bless her efforts to share the good news with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, hear prayer. our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the gospel message of peace inform their work for justice in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the sick and the dying, may God comfort them and bless their caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those in our parish discerning a call to the priesthood or consecrated life, may the Lord bless them and keep them on their spiritual journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may they find eternal rest and joy in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own intentions that we offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always listening to our prayers. We ask that you grant what is best for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of Christ's hands for the praise and glory of his name, and our glory of all his holy Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us holy, pleasing in your sight, and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, so we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, <clears throat> therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God. Our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but to only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he, may he be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with our liturgy today. And also, don't worry, we've recorded this earlier, so not all the decorations are in the church yet. But if you tune in for Epiphany, you'll see it, this church in all its splendor. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful Christmas on behalf of everyone here. Bless you and your families. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. the world.